Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. Hey everyone, welcome back to another NBA Playoffs for day two of the game four of the 2K Sports of NBA Playoffs. This time, it's about to go things down. Yeah, we only got some a couple gaming of his average. This is only turning out to be just a three wins for Boston Celtics. Two away, two home, and one away. But if they win again, it'll be all over for Toronto Raptors with a shout-out loss in a series. And Boston moving up to the second round to face against a winning team in between the Bucks or the Cavaliers. So it's the only choice that they have here, but there might be the only man advantage that can definitely play it for all again. So, this is where it all comes down to this. This is where it ends off here. Will Toronto Raptors take the series to stop the Celtics, or will the Celtics crush out the Raptors of the Team Canadian team to wrap it things down and move on to the second round? We'll find out after the uh, after all three quarters and for first half and second half, and we will see who had the best plays in the first round in the Eastern Conference. Now let's head you in to Toronto, Canada for the for the presentation of the NBA playoffs. Let's give it a go. Let's have a look at the mobile one blocks and see who had done the best. Now, for most of these careers, they definitely have played here before, as we all have it in mind. Harry Ward has gotten a great work wrapping pointer. And with the jam time, this all happens. Number two, we have is Youngblood, 240. They've already got one block, two blocks, and three, four, five in a row, with six. This is like a tough play that he had. Number three we have is the XX King Ox X856. One and only only all the way that brings out the value. And that's a great play of this defense. Number four. In my career, in, in my career this was Jason, 10317. This was like a rejection ball to rewrap it around and then slam it through. That was a tough makeable. And for all the best plays, which one do you think it's the best? Leave a comment here from 2K TV Wow Moments. So, leave it down below on 2K TV. Time to head on down to Scotty Bank Arena. The Raptors coming down the tunnel prior to the game. They're prepared to give their rabbit home fan base a night to remember. Terrific shot. A terrific time here in Scotty Bank Arena. It looks like it's going to be a very nice game here, too. And this is a bunch of plays here that we are enjoying here for tonight. We're on 2K Sports with Nick Nurse and the other coach, AJ Sinclair. And we look at Jalen Brown, 23 points, point six, and three assists. On the sideline quarter is David Aldridge. DA is all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Marcus Smart stands six foot three, but he said, I can guard bigs, so I started making a joke. I'm a stretch six. Forget a stretch five. My teammates loved it, and it just stuck with me. He added, I'm the youngest of four boys, so I've been up against bigger guys. For me, that means nothing. Kevin? Thank you so much, DA, and for smart on moves. Thank you. I really appreciate yours. Here are the starting lineups as all curves are here for Raptors and Boston Celtics. These are the only players that they have before. They have the best time that they have. Two in a row for Celtics, and for real life, it was the Sixers. Yemi Uduku is the head coach here for Boston Celtics. 
Now he's ready for everything here in game four. And this must be a win or go home for Toronto Raptors. Yeah, this is it. It all comes down to this, so we got to see who will take it from here. And now it's Boston with the winning tip-off. We start things here at Scotia Bank Arena, all fueled up and ready to go. Robert Williams on Siakam. He has only had raised four, team, four personal fouls here for this part of the game. But with all of a sudden, he saved his life here, and all without any adoption, he has not been picking up his fifth foul. Well, he's already that smooth. He's already got been played here some quite time that he might be advantaging him to step him up again. Lowry, I mean Van Lee, can't make the free throw of the layup. Robert Williams in the other hand, signing on Van Vliet. Robert inside. One hand, rebounded again, and it's taken off by Barnes. And it's rebounded by Williams as Marcus Smart goes out of traffic. Well, that's a great gear on defense because of Scotty Barnes, he's just got an all piece of it down. That was a hard play making. Siaka inside and the layup is no good. Tatum on Anobi. And it's rejected off. Anobi with the steal. First turnover on Boston. Back to Anobi for three. He gets it to go. First three pointer for Raptors. This all turns out just like he did. I'm pretty sure that it looks like the Raptors are going to have to try to find another way to get right around it. And don't tell me I'm not the only guy who represents the Raptors. I'm just I'm a just different person. I know we do. Jason Tatum with the drive, and here's Van Vliet. Over Brown, he gets it again. Trent Jr., basket counts. It's a one-point lead for Toronto, and it's now 5-4. Only three minutes left to play here in the first quarter as Tatum has it covered. Screen on Williams. Inside. Oh! oh, oh, oh. I think that was Tatum with a damn base out there. Give me that. Whack it all. <laughs> oh man, I, I like that. And that was your AT&T Slam 5D, 5G Slam Dunk of Jason Tatum. What a play run. Family over Smart. It's rebounded by Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown receiving his first rebound, and right now he has his average to go up for his next career to go even better. Yeah, but of course Jalen Brown, he, he knows his way. All the patients that he has fine, he might he might be all tipping in to give it another try. Smart, no adoption for three. Oh, taken away by Horford. And Siakam has it as they will have to restart from the top. They got a little difficulties here. They might need to be careful. Siakam goes and offensive puts up a personal foul. Yeah. Right on Boston. And a terrific mobile one block by Barnes. That's a playmakable. And all you know that the highlight was out there even more better. This was all that happened here where, is the, where the players get things right in from the court in paint. Like, wow, like this is like a, this is like a toughest call that nobody has ever seen. New changes are being released here for Boston right now as Daniel Feist is checked in for Williams. Garrett White checked in for Marcus Smart. Ananobi up, and he's fouled by Jason Tatum. Second team foul on Boston, first personal on Tatum. Ananobi will head to the free throw line to shoot two for the first free throw for the Raptors. This all really stands out the shock because what they've done here before Ananobi and their teammates, they might have it all in increasing their momentum to give them a whirl. And that is what they have here before. First throw for Ananobi's good. Now the new changes for Boston and Toronto are checked in. Horford is checked out. Williams is checked in with Pritchard, along with Jason Tatum. Trent, Jr. Barnes, and Siakam comes to the bench as Birch, Ichua, and Mikhailuk are checked in. 
for the lead, Ironobi. That's good for two. Boston trailing by one. He goes over to Brown. Brown back to Pritchard. Screen on Fice. And Pritchard getting in difficulty. White in the corner, getting needs to make a shot. Over Birch. Missed again. Ichiro with the first rebound. Ichiro really has gotten it's just a good piece of it. He's got to like, he's got to go with another run. Different plan idea. The Hayu, right to Birch. On an OB, slam the dunk, and you could feel the heat. Put a jam. The jam. Oh, yeah, that, that was definitely true for On an OB to pick him up. Not really what they are going for, but it might be the king of the rapper. Raptors will be of the claw, but the making of it can never be released. Five to shoot. Fight. Over again. Two pointer can't go. Mahayu with the rebound. Under a minute to play in the first quarter. Mahayu, this is off to a Chiwa. This is off to Birch. Over White. And a good release spin for. For Birch, he picks up a two. It's 11 to 6 run. Now here's Pritchard. He passes off to Brown. Two release mid right to White. White looking. Finds a screen for Daniel Feist inside the playoff drive. Rebounded. Faded with the jab, and it's now a Feist rebounder and take him back in. This really turns out to be very tricky. Daniel Feist, you may not know where, where the players are, but there's a lot of defenses around you, so you've got to make it quick. Rebound again by Flynn. Rebound and making drive, but easy layup. First quarter closes off 13 to 8. Toronto lead by 5, and we'll be right back after this break. What a tough run here. That's for Raptors for sure. Second quarter is about to start as it's now 13 to 8. Boston just got a piece of here free game winning streaks. Really got all pushed up again. But there might be some similarity that can be a little bit tricky. I'm pretty sure that those teams can be very, uh, very, very deep in the end. The moment of that time can be really, really challenging for those two teams in between America and Canada. There might be one that could definitely try to uh, work it off and try to make him clear. Now Thaddeus Young is checked in here on the court. He will take the first drive and it's white bounded by White. White in the air lane. He dishes off the screen of Williams. He drives up forward, rebounded again, and that will be taking the number two for White. White receiving his first two of this, of this game can be very hard. But not for long, it's, it's just for him. He just made a great rebound, just a save. Young, on Feist, screen, and it's Brown. The two-pointer, trip off, and an out. I don't know if he can't make the two. Brown passes off to White, inside, good throw. And that's a number two-pointer. That would be Jalen Brown's assist. Four minutes to play in the second quarter of the first half. Ananobi on Jalen Brown. This is back to Achua. Right to over is Mark Payu. Right to Young. Shoots over Feiss. Rebounded by Feiss. That's a tough D to make a solution more counting. That is going to be a very tough call. Pritchard outside. Back to Williams. Brown. Five to shoot. They need to get some shots here. With the fade. Rebound by Feist. Out of D by Anabayo. What a play. And Brown hits the two. They now have the lead up by one. Well, that's a good play for Ananobi to try to reject that drive. And that was a very good play here. They got a great, great play. First time out called by Toronto Raptors. As you see now, it's only 3.09 remaining. Right on the bottom of the board. 
but we're pretty sure what we are looking for is Nick Nurse trying to work its way up on the ability. There might be another way to get right through it, if it's going to be very tough to make the solution go nearby. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what what they really turned out is what the um, is what the team can really be honestly to those. It really got some a lot a lot of encouragement that they got played there before. Not too much of it going on, but it can be very tricky to go right in the lane. And sometimes with Boston Celtics, it really get been pushing up there so far. It's very very tricky to uh, keep it on the uh, momentum out there to try to work their way around. Coming up for the next game will be the Bulls and the Sixers playing back at United Center as they are trying to regain the position here to try to tie the series up. We are unsure what will happen. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure it can be very tricky for them to work their way around if they don't have the players to open their, uh, where, their look on offense. It can be very tricky. Four players checked out for Boston and five players checked in for Toronto as Boshe is checked in. Here's Smart, dish off, back to White, to Smart. Tatum with an open look. Three pointers good, it's Tatum with the first three pointer and reaches up with Tatum, assisted by Smart. He's Smart, Marcus Smart, always keep it Smart. Van Blee in the attack, he finished a scooping drive. And it's now carried to be a two trail by two. Lee changes off in, six in the road, tied up in a series of one. It, it, it's very hard. It looks like there might be another way to get right by it. Tatum, an awesome drive, and now he finishes his layup. It's now a 19-15. Toronto trailing by four. Back to Barnes. Barnes on Tatum. Goes with a cross angle move. Two point over Barnes. In and out. Under two minutes left here to play in the first half. It's White with the ball and he goes out of bounds. Too fast and too hard to handle. A turnover on Boston. Well, it's definitely the same that you can't just go like offense to go off the bound here. You can't be switching up these things fast. You just gotta slow down. Man, I don't know what to say about that, but this is very, very tricky. Nobody has seen it before. Great feed by Barnes, and it's Van Vliet with the assist. They're down by two. A minute and 35 to play in the first half. Williams on Siakam. In the corner is White. Over Trent, double man attacker, and Boucher has his first assist, first rebound. Boston only has got four points for Derek White after trading from San Antonio Spurs. They really got him to do one because I, I always know when we call it the last time here for the last game after uh, playing with a, with a hard inbound on transition in season five or the last season, it, it's definitely an honest opinion here that they rarely showed him off against the Heat since in the finals. Now it's Robert Williams. Oh man, this is another hard try. And they are up again by two. Another breakdown on Toronto Raptors as they trail by two. Ty again, short on the drive. Horford with the rebound, and he's already good on D. Smart finds Williams back to Tatum. The Boston Celtics are moving the ball quickly. Over Van Vliet. Rebounded by Barnes, under the missed by Boston. Now he finds Van Vliet. Van Vliet, in and out of nowhere. Nine seconds to shoot. Ten seconds for the shot for the game clock. Three for Trent Jr. Off of the mound, Siakam. Can't get him to go. And that's the end of the first half. It's 21-19. Wow, tough playmaking out there. I thought that Siakam would have made it. But it was very tough. But the close of the first half, it's time to take you over to David Aldridge. DA? Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? 
I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So, we got to keep shooting them. Hopefully, we'll some of them. Now you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back for the second half to begin the third quarter. See you guys later after this. All right, guys. Now the commentators will be helping these out to start the first half of the recap for Raptors and Celtics. So, so Shaq and all of you guys, Kenny DeJet Smith, let's have your take. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. They stayed within arm's reach in that opening period, five points, their largest deficit. It took them a little while to get going, but you love what they did in the second quarter, ending with a two points. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? They put a big effort in the rebounding battle, working to corral every miss. That's the hustle you love to see. If they can maintain this approach, it'll give them an edge as far as they Jack, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Well, the story is their poor shooting, under 40%. You've got to give the D some credit, but they look uninspired on offense. It'd be nice to see fewer isolation plays, more ball movement, and create for each other. Thank you guys so much, and that's it for the halftime show. Time to head you back to Scotty Bank Arena. Second half of basketball is about to start now as we are underway here back at Scotty Bank Arena. This all turns to be the only best man can get. Jason Tatum has already yet been scoring a trout for his past three games in the playoffs and for regular season. He's all like the best player that he has ever done before. Really turns out with the shock. He knows his secret. And we're all ready to go for the third quarter as we start for the Raptors to take position to the other end. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, he made a spin move. Had to pull up on Smart, but it stops short as he passes off to Trent Jr. Siakam, right in the, tra in the paint. Two-pointer, can't get it to go. Oh, he brought the back. And he still can't get it to go. They're losing average here on the speed. They can't be uh, ga gaining out of the out-of-control site. This can be very dangerous for them to try to operate their run. And the foul is on Robert Williams as this loose ball is taken. And a one more ejection calling here as this all turns to be on Ananobi. Yeah, this all turns to go for a head-on-head head with a blockout. This blackout turns to be on Agananobi to try to work it round through. They definitely did. So the scoring counts for Jalen Brown as the loose ball was being called. And I don't know what's the deal with this one because this should have been a no, no shot called. And now this is calling a Celtics foul on Robert Williams. He is third, third, his first third team foul. Now it will be Pascal Siakam heading to the free throw line to shoot two. It was close enough to uh, get right into the game, but now this all turns out. I'm pretty sure that Siakam is just just trying to keep the momentum in alive. First free throw is good. You tell him that the Vasco Siakam was going to be a, a second time in this effort. But the game of this play can be very, very, very tough for them. Moment at that time can be a, uh, a difficult strike here. It may be tough, but we might be happy enough to be playing here for the Toronto team. Second free throw for Siakam is good. They're now trailing by three. Here's Smart. Only turned out to be his uh, his time and effort here with just a just a bad luck here for for, for no good play that he had, but he might be ready for everything. Jason Tatum, he's already been picked up his first three pointer, and now got another three pointer in the other end. Van Vliet on Smart. He's gonna try to uh, figure things out. And a drive for Spur Van Vliet, no good. That's a smart D here on Marcus Smart, as now he has the ball in the Everlane. Boston has 19 rebounds and 11 rebounds for Toronto. This is like a tough in-between the matches. 
that can't be reused. Smart making a three-pointer, and this one extends by nine. Wow, this side. Uh, I haven't seen that Smart was going to be making that shot. Well, it looks like this could be trouble making for, uh, for Toronto for tonight. That'd be tricky. Barnes went down to Obi, back to Trent Jr. And lead for three. Good and a triple! And it's now a six point game for Boston and Toronto. Next timeout is called by Boston. With under three minutes left, it can be very hard for them to try to work it around again. I know. The only average we have just spoken out here this time can be very challenging. And if you're tuning in for the Stanley Cup playoffs, we will be back with you after this NBA game. So make sure you grab your uh, grab your stuff and also uh, watch it on your devices. Get your devices ready as we will have the Stanley Cup playoffs on, on two, uh, NHL 22 to start things off. And this is the first time that I am doing for this NHL. And we are definitely really excited to have a new sport here in a decade. It really turns to be a standing of a decade, but well, all the, all the players really know that one. Maybe the fans are going to love hockey too. Toronto Maple Leafs is also the home here for, uh, for hockey here too. Switching in basketball and hockey, and you always got the same thing, just like other uh, say, arenas do, except for some arenas that can't be changed here for our ice hockey rinks. Now Williams, right over to Brown. He shoots up over Mahayu. Great D in control, and Birch will take the rebound here. That's a nice D. In transition on the other end, it can be very typical. But that's a great play. And you hear the jet, 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 jam. That's a chewo with a alley oop. Oh, right over on Birch. That's a great play here. Yeah. I've always screwed that before. Birch with the rebound. Back to Mahayu. Ananobi again. Back to Mahayu. Richard on it. Finds Berkling. And he helps the chewo with the screen. Inside, Achua, rebound again, and he goes back to Mahayu to fix it up. We're down to two minutes right now, and a rebound is taken off by Williams. Ball is not loose, here comes a, on the low beat. Oh, <laughs> what a play, the chip chip jam. Wow. I don't know, but I don't really I haven't seen that play. <laughs> My goodness. That was like the bestest play ever played. What a drive by Ananobi. And that was your slam dunk with an AT&T 5G ultimate here in access with any contracts from uh, from each mobile devices from your world. This is the best play ever. We love the mobile one blocks, and also this highlight could definitely be true, but we love the slam dunk of how they played. Interesting to me, you know, this is all that took out here. Now Grant Williams will have to head to the free throw line to shoot two after the foul is called by Mahayu. Another forceful team foul is picking up on Toronto, with under a minute and a half to go. First free throw for Williams is good. And Williams for that time, it can be tough on the angle. But sometimes it really doesn't have it all paid out here in any way. White and Brown has moved over to the other uh, position. That's why he's checked in. Van Vliet, Young, and Nachua are checked in too. One shot left for Williams. And he hits both. Now this will be 32-28 for the Boston Celtic lead. Van Vliet, back in pursuit. He, he's covered up here on Pritchard. I don't know, again. Rebound by Brown. Again! My goodness, that was on Anobi again. They all loved it. 
Ananobi is looking for his first pointing leading tonight here in game four over Tatum. But we're going to need to like hold up for right now. It can be very difficult to make the challenge even better aim. Ananobi, get it out of here! What a two block performing run on Toronto Raptors. Ananobi gets two blocks. That's a serious block. Serious and ever than before. My oh my. Bambley in the corner, in the paint, tied it up by 32. And now the fans are going to be in and out with a crazy mode effort. Here's Pritchard, 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. Brown, deep three, that's good. He is up and away we go. Another leadoff change has been changing again lately. They always do. It's very, very different than they had here before. Not him, but all the other players have some deep threes here. They can definitely try to like keep going again. Down to eight, five to shoot. Van Bleek can't hit it to go. And Brown with the half court, unable to make one. It's 35-32. This is a tight game in between the conference matching off of Canada and USA. By now, the fourth quarter will be the only one left to finish it off. It's all next after this break. Here's what's happening now for the State Farm assist of the game. I always can tell you that one. This is where it gets things in the way. Because of what happens here for Boston, the deep three for Virgil and Brown, he really had it all bound up and he ready to be on the attacker. And just for him, those guys can definitely take their gear to go right to the second round. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one when we finish off the fourth quarter. Well, let's get going here on fourth quarter. And right now we all started up, rehydrate, and ready to go for the last quarter left. And for the Gatorade lineups, Van Vliet, Trent Jr., Siaka, also along with Barnes and going forward, and Thaddeus Young. Here's Van Vliet, inside Trent Jr., layup drive, great D by Derek White. No foul given up on Boston, as it's now a 35-32 still. Oh, again! And now this is about to be turned off to be Thaddeus Young! This is like a tough play making. Thaddeus Young, he's got his first block of his game. Smart on Young, again with the drive. Rebounded by Young. What a great dig here with the hustle inbound there. It can be very tricky, but they're still getting it good. Now the block is called on Al Horford, his first foul. Jalen Brown is checked out, and Tatum is checked back in. Just about 4.01 remaining in the fourth quarter, and Young is checked out, along with the uh, replacement of, I'm sorry, uh, I, I forgot what I was gonna say, Boucher. Wow, you lost the ball, quick ahead, and Smart's all alone. He goes into jam. What a great pen pack, and it's Smart rustling it in and he's he's like a bound to be bad as that that's like a big believer bad to be bald and blue with a bleed green he's now noticing he's uh he's definitely not the only man for himself to be smart here if they're looking for a offensive look on a uh, breaking defense man junior up Unable to connect to number two, it's the number Toronto miss. White on Trent Jr. And as ball loose, Trent Jr. gets it covered. Number two over here on Boston. Trent Jr. Basket Boucher. Look out the traffic! It's Boucher! Chip, 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 chill! And it's Gary Trent Jr. with the assists. Tatum off to Horford, in and out again. The Raptors are going back in the other lane. Siakam in the corner. Back to see, now Siakam again. Sorry, it was Boucher. My mistake. 
Jack with the screen, right inside. It's blocked by Tatum. Tatum has already gotten himself a, a number D. He's playing very hard. He is trying to. He's trying to, to make the deflection out of anybody to uh, to rip it through. Van Vliet in the paint. Just off the Boucher. The two pointer. I'll never miss by Toronto. Lots of great defense here in Boston, and now there's only two minutes left. Smart. Rebound by Williams. Over Horford in the corner. Back to Tatum. Six to shoot for Boston. Tatum over Van Vliet. Horford up. And doesn't hit that time. Never missed by Boston. Now there's still that time left to go for a close game. Trent Jr. up. All strong deep by Smart. My, oh my, this is another bad angle out there. This could be another nightmare. Three for White, and this will not be a tie-breaking for Toronto. Timeout by Toronto with a minute and 21 to go. It's 40 to 34, Boston leads by six. Just an incredible run here. It's all what happens here because of what they did here. Playing back here in the offense, it's like a kill on streak. Nobody has ever gone here so far, but they really have nothing else to compare it with to try to stop the attacker and from coming around. They really got some huge strength of numbers. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local, your local Tri Honda dealers. Chips Ahoy, here for, here for happy. Just make it smile with a Chips Ahoy. AT&T 5G, and by Mountain Dew. Let's present your New Balance player of the game as this one goes to Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart really has gotten some uh, impressive scores here from his, through his career. He's finishing off a big on big, over and under, in and around. Raptors trail by six. Barnes on the cover is Al Horford. In the tube again, and in and out again, they still can't find it. Well, the ball is in out of control again because of the defenseman. That's because of his shot. They're, they're, on, they're on, on a higher percentage rate. Al Horford delivers again. It's 42-34. Jason Tatum with the assist. And Al Horford has got his first bucket. Yeah, he does. All with him. Not able to be uh, comfortable enough, but it may be very tough for him to give him a word of credit. Barnes in the drive, rebounded by Smart. Another miss by Toronto, and it's Tatum with the ball. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter of the second half, and a great feed by Williams. It's, a, it's another assist by Jason Tatum. Well, the fans just definitely say they want, they are definitely all done for Toronto. It looks like it's the end for their season of the, of the game. Tatum makes a rebound. Only 15 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Smart has the ball. Last possession for Boston. Holds the ball. And he won't be picking up shots here to take the end as the game is finished. Well, that's it for the Toronto Raptors. They are out and eliminated. That means Boston Celtics are moving up to the second round to take on against the winning team in between the Cavs and Bucks. 44 to 34 is your final score as we are just got a lot of greats hustling inbounds. And this could have been a close call here for the Raptors to win the fourth game. I know, but this all turned out to be just a attacker on the loose. This ultimate drive is like a Bam! Man, oh man. Now let's present the three star players of the game. Let's stick on with Me Phone first. Thank you very much here. 
Number three is O. Anobi, 11 points, two rebounds. If only just a tiny set save here of two blocks and two dunks. 11 performance really does turn out, but his career will be happening next season. Let's take your take, Son of Beast, on number two. Number two, we all have him and all have him on. That is Jalen Brown. Eight points, three rebounds, one assist, and three turnovers that got in the loose and out of the way. Deep three got the lead. He really got a better look. That's the angle for him for his time. It brings him just like that. And your take on number one, Mephone. This all goes out to Jason Tatum. 12 points, five rebounds, five assists, one steal. And a two dunk incredible run of his effort here for the fourth game to streak it all. And their team is ready for the second round to come back for the second time. To, to another game that they have played. That is a work on, work on, work off. That's it for me, as we will have a break here for the moment. And next up on the list is the Sixers and, of course, the team of the Chicago Bulls. We'll be right back with you for the second game. And then following along is the Golden State Warriors against the Nuggets here back at Denver. And then the last game is happening with Mavericks and Jazz. I will have the uh, commentators be back here for the last game. But for all right now, for being said, thanks for watching. And until then, we'll see you all on the next game. Peace out, everyone, for us a while as the NBA playoffs of the NBA 2K22 dial. Good night in Toronto for the Claw of the Raptors and for the Bleed Green of Boston. Take care, folks. See you guys in the next game.